Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. Remember, for more on our top stories, visit our website, channelstv.com. You can also catch us on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Well, now to other stories. With the return of peace in the troubled northeast geopolitical zone of the country, the Victim Support Fund has launched a, the Education Support Program in Yobe State. In the education support intervention, 6,000 primary pupils in three local government areas of the state are being provided with instructional and non-instructional materials as measures to further encourage learning and school enrollment in the state. We know that the situation since last year has significantly stabilized. People are returning to their communities. And this time around, we are deciding to go right to the communities to provide the support that they require. And that is why for 2016-2017 session in Yobe State, we have targeted Unusari local government, Gujba local government, Gulani local government, some of the most affected local governments in Yobe State. Kogi State in north-central Nigeria is set to become the first to benefit from Brexit, um, the Brexit that, if the words of the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Mr. Paul Arkwright, comes to fruition. Mr. Arkwright, who is in Kogi State on a working visit, has been sharing economic development plans with the state governor, Yahya Bello. Um, I want to talk about business. I want to talk about economic opportunities. I want to talk about investment in Kogi State. And one of the things that we were talking about, Your Excellency, is your focus on youth. And that is really important. It's important in every country. But in a country where the population growth is expected to result in a population of some 400 million people by 2050, and that's not very far away, in a country where at the moment at least two Two million young people are coming onto the job market every year um, and in a country where uh, economic recession has bitten deep and people are suffering and I acknowledge that then looking at ways in which the British government British business British industry can come to Nigeria and can come to Kogi state to see what we can do to provide support to help to provide investment um, to provide jobs here in Kogi state we are committed to complementing the president's effort and to bring visionary leadership imbued with youthful vigor home to our people. We, along with the rest of the world, found Brexit quite intriguing. In the end, and in our opinion, it restates your country's commitment to democracy and reaffirms the resilience of British society. Governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, and earlier, British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Mr. Paul Arkwright, while exploring enormous opportunities in tourism as an investment option will help to boost the country's revenue generation drive and also reduce the effect of the economic recession presently being faced in Nigeria. That's according to the Imo State Chief of Staff, Mr. Uche Umosu, while speaking at the annual event of the Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers in Oweri, the state capital. On his part, the national president of the institute, Bolaring the Ajayi, urges government at all levels to engage members to ensure such potentials are harnessed. Anything about tourism has to be managed. And in most countries of the world that have done very well, like France, Egypt, London, Dubai, you will find out that, uh, that tourism has taken the center stage. And most states and most countries where you don't have oil, like France, France doesn't have oil, but their 90% of their income comes from tourism. And for them to harness this, there is, there is need to have those uh, estates, valuers and surveyors to harness it and to manage it properly. We are the land economists. And as a land economist, we are, want to showcase what the country can gain from land to grow the economy of the nation. The various use the land can be put and how uh, the various taxes that land can afford to the internally generated fund 
and to prove that and to show that land is the base for all developments. And that's where we wrap up the program today. Thank you for the company. I'm Emana Amawe.